That's kind of what I expected. But then not banning the Gwen, I think it's just really going to be problematic because you can transition that lead so They well. ran out of bats, Isaiah. They just <laughs> ran out. You only get yeah. five. Yeah. Yeah. In the praises of BLG, but we got to remember who they're staring down across the rift because Gen G is a ferocious squad to have to fight. Shun coming in here looking for the dive on Dachovi. The charm flies oh. out, but it missed. They get the damage anyway. The max range instant one, two proc on the Q as On has to try to get away from the tier one here in the bottom lane. Peanut looking to set up a dive, but Elk and On are already both out of danger. It's a 1-0 game for BLG. Yeah, they get the kill, but it's the inverse of last game where all of these minions are being denied. They're actually going to have to TP their mid laner down to catch this wave because it's too many minions to lose. That would be about two, three full waves that Elk would lose, so BLG are not willing to have that happen. Bin trading well on that top side. But yeah, I mean, it was Delight that started it all, all right. up. Bin. Oh, he flashed in! Bin! Instead, Shun now needs to be mindful of Delight making the rotation up as Jovi drops the ulti here on Yagao. That bear is so obnoxious. Tibbers does so much damage if it sticks around. Meanwhile, 3v3 now here in the river. Peanut jumping in, looking to go after these guys. On trying to disengage. Shun and Yagao need to do the same. On is gonna drop! And it's Jovi getting the first kill. Now take the dragon as well. Props to Gen G. I feel like after game one, they weren't quite... Uh, they have accomplished that, though it is a very slight lead, so we'll see if he's going to be able to make Peanut good on it. Looking for a play top. All right. Ben could be in some trouble here. Trying to fight it off in a 1v2, but so much burst from Peanut oh. and from Dora. Oh, characteristic for BLG, <laughs> but they are going to say, you know what, it's fine. We'll give this one up. We don't feel strong enough to fight right now. Kills earlier, but can still have a huge impact in the fights. Yagao ults over. BLG looking for their moment here in the mid lane, but they won't find a damn thing. Peanut's ready for the follow-up, throws Yagao up into the air. A lot of bursts coming down from Gen G. Doran's got the kill on On, and Shun barely survives. Doran's taken low. Bin jumps into the middle of everybody, but now he's got to retreat because Gen G's able to turn around, and Delight finds the kill. Yagao! going to use that to just apply pressure in the mid lane instead. The Drake is secured by BLG, so now Gen G, they didn't want to overcommit, just jump into a fight they weren't ready to take. Instead, they're going to at least trade objectives, grab this tier one. Their lane assignments. Chovy wasn't prepared for this. Chovy in some trouble as Shun initiates. There's the one two punch of Vi and one of her lane mates. Line them up, knock them down. Ulti into the follow up from the Gwen means that Ben and Shun can get that kill for free and they'll take the tier one turret on top. Yeah, really nicely done. They know the dragon, dragon fights. It's just going to be about setting up those objectives. <laughs> <laughs> really just walk through them. So they're going to lose their mid lane tier one for free and they're still going to have to answer. It's or fine. He has a second fine. charge. Yeah, they should be fine if we back up. I was very concerned initially there, but it's okay. Dragon gets a 4K. They're going in. Chovy wants to lead the way. The Drake is down to 3,000 as Chovy goes into the zone. Used to protect himself for a little bit and Tibbers has dropped once more. Now it's taken out by Yagao is down. Pays grabs the kill, and Gen G have already run the fight. Peanut's gonna chase down Elk, and the Jinx has no way home. Delight jumps over the wall with the Abyssal Dive, and on to the next target. Gobble, gobble! There goes on, and he's just more food for Pays. Gen G get three, and they'll get themselves a soul point as well. Play, even if the champ did connect. You see a bit of trading back and forth in bot lane, but Peanut has his eyes on Elk. Jumps in. On decides to drop the Glacial Fissure, and now they're going to find some damage onto Peanut. They follow it up with Shun. They get the shutdown on the enemy jungler, and On's back and away, trying to escape from Timbers. Pays is Bin's behind. Up. Winter's Bite is there, and Ben's coming around. Snip, snip. They force him to go gold, and they shut him down with Ben. The rockets are flying, and Gen G's dying. Delight hits the floor next, and Dora. So in goes Shun. They full commit to the fight. Both top laners TP in. Which they have now snowballed into to a commanding map state. On needs to be careful though. Yeah, On potentially in some trouble here. Shun over the wall. Gonna give him something to jump away to. Glacial Fisher, throw down by On the support. Now disengaging, now getting back to his ben. team. Bin's found his way into the back. He's found Chovy. Yagao's here with the front. He's gone golden. Two separate fights. BLG continuing to push down here with the bottom side as Doran's taken very low and On now retreating again. Yagao's still at about 200. Doran's still about dead. Peanut has to run away and leave the cold. through Doran. One proc of his ult, he forced Chovy into the Zonias, and then there's no damage. He heals to full off of Doran, just using him for some free HP. And BLG come to life. They're pushing down mid. They take the tier two, and they're going to go. They were very separated. Yagao and Elk were separated from the front line. Mythic, thanks to Doran's Orn, 
and Gen G, five men top, they're gonna force down the tier one. It's really gonna be a battle of Pei saying, try to kill me. You know? Doran took about a thousand HP. It doesn't look like that because he is the Orn. But on also taking a slight amount of damage here. But look at being charged. Chovy's in some trouble. Uses the, sto the stasis to keep himself alive. And now the Orn Horn's coming through. Shun looking for a little bit of pressure as Ben's Hallowed Mist is going to keep him alive. Disengage, coming back out for BLG. Genji take a little bit of damage, but for the amount of alties, the amount of abilities that Ooh. we're playing, there's not a lot of injured health so far. Shun backing away. Elk and On got to be careful as On's going to take a whole lot of damage here from Pays rooted up. But now Pays could be in some trouble. One more hit for the winners. Blight is going to set him up. They might just take him down. Yagal's after Trovi. He's barely still alive, and Yagal's got the first kill. He kites away from Peanut to stay alive. Elk continues the chase after Dora. Now, he's shortchanging his flash as well for that pullback on his Q on Trovi. But at the end of the day, it's over. So Doran and Peanut are here. Nice charm down on a Doran. A little bit more damage, finding its way onto the tank, but that's not the guy you can target if the fight is even. Doran now getting chased down by Ben. He'll cut right through him. Ben is unstoppable. And BLG once again have a 5v4 as Chovy just now respawns and teleports to join up with the rest of Gen G. BLG right back into the Baron pit. Keep your eyes on Chovy. It's going to need to be a big Tivers if they want to try to win something here. All of BLG starting to back away a little bit now. The Glacial Fissure dropped by on BLG back into the Chovy. pit. Chovy tagged up the winner's bite. There's the Tron. They want to go after Chovy. They force the ulti back out of the life, but BLG's health bars are looking bad. Guardian Angel's going to come out there from Shun, but Gen G are camping the body. They take him down, and Chovy gets the credit. Pays flashes in. He wants the damage on on, but he can't quite find it. On likely to drop here next as Pays goes on a killing spree. Ben tries to fight back. Delight is down. They're going after Chovy again. Elf looks for the reset. He's trying to cut. Pays. The Rockets are ready to go! He's oh. excited! And he just can't fight it! It's BLG winning another fight and getting another ace with a quadra kill for Elk! Elk gets excited and spaces Genji perfectly with the Rockets! No chance for Pace to turn around! That was perfectly played by the BLG bot laner! He is protected by his team, and BLG know they got everything they need to be able to find a win. Yagao and Shun gonna pressure the mid lane, pressure the tier three, take down the inhibitor turret as Delight goes to join back up with- On and Elk are just bouncing between mid and bot here, and they're gonna be able to grab this inhibitor very easily. Chovy, can he find an angle? BLG, they take out the inhib. Now Doran's gonna take the damage here with the start. Yagao CC'd as he has to try to get away. Doran goes to the Ornhorn, Horn, but On does a beautiful job blocking it out. Tibbers is summoned. Tibbers is here. Is... Everyone is doing so much damage at this point. They charm up Doran, but he does a good job buffering through it. Meanwhile, the engage back on the Shun. Gen G go after him, but they cannot burst down the jungler. BLG ready to defend him as Elk is firing into the Drake. BLG have started up the objective. Now Yagao off to the side, has to be careful. Peanut wants to contest it. Make it a 50-50 here for the Drake. He looks to go into the pit. It's gonna be secured by the side of BLG. Has been Yagao look to keep everybody else occupied. Elk grabs a kill. They trade one back for support for Jungler. But now Gen G's gonna go on the run. Elk is unstoppable. Gen G are gone. A triple for the Jinx. Elk runs them over. And BLG are gonna bring it home. Pray all you want to the church of Chovy, nothing will stand in the way of BLG tearing Genji apart and going to match point in this best of five. It was such a close game for so long. Genji had an edge for so long, but the edge is blunted as BLG move on to match point.